As Brad Thorne said it was time to take a break after almost three decades of professional sport, Tate McDermott paid tribute to his outgoing Queensland coach for his role in developing the Reds. The Reds capitulated on Saturday afternoon, heading to the tabletop Chiefs their quarterfinals in a gripping competition Hamilton. The Reds were up 2019 in 61st minute, but the Peter Gus Sawakula attempt sealed Chiefs 29-20 win. The character-packed performance was the Reds' best all year, as Thorne's side with several players fresh out of club rugby put a real load on the All Blacks laden Chiefs side. Indeed, as the Reds tried to pass Sam Kane, Jake Upfield nearly ran for the Reds with a few minutes left. They fell short, but lost no supporters along the way. It was a worthwhile quarterfinal, Thorne said. Finals football is what you play, that's why on the first day of the preseason you train to compete to go as far as he can go. See, both teams came to the game today. The word I do use for my guys is simply proud. I'm proud of their performance and I respect the Chiefs for getting the job done. A month after reporting their only loss of season to date to the Chiefs, Red's heavy game plan and strong set pieces put Clayton McMillan's side under some serious pressure. Tom Linnig eventually found his grove in second half, while 20-year-olds missed two conversions and penalties in first half meant Reds had seven points out on court. In contrast, Damian McKenzie's excellent day on kick tee helped the Chiefs cross line. The Reds' competitiveness was another example of how kicking is essential for knockout rugby when done well and combined with a strong kick chase. The nine-point loss marked end of Thorne's six-year tenure with Reds, and dual international and former World Cup winner announced in April that he would leave at end of season. The Reds hope a replacement will be determined by August. Was an honour, Thorne said. I grew up in Queensland, I'm from New Zealand, but I grew up here from the age of nine and that means a lot to me. To be with so many people. There are things you've gained or lost over the years, as a player I need to gain some things, but it's the people that stand out. Although they earn well, they are not actually titles, but actually people. All staff, all the people and players who were part of this great game of football and seeing these young men grow up were really great. I thank God for giving me this purpose during this time, and now it's time to take a break, some rest. Thorne said it was the right time to walk away, but left the door open to pursue his coaching career. Maybe you'll take a break for three, four, five months, he said. Even pre-coaching as a player. There is pressure all around. I've always loved print, I've always loved good cause, but six years is a pretty long time. It's time to take a breath and think about my future. Given first super rugby cap by Thorne, McDermott paid homage to bringing a young group of P.